Okay, if you're wondering why I'm quiet, I'm waiting for other people to join so that we can start. I'm waiting for other people to join so that we can start. We'll be here in less than 30 minutes. Go and cough outside. Go and cough inside. Go and cough there. Yeah, thanks. Hi, Mr. Gabriel. Thank you for joining. Hi, Banabas. Emmanuel, I see you. I see you. Queen, thank you for joining. I'll bring you up soon. Um, so it's already seven. So we have in three more in three minutes we wait for we wait for other people to join in three minutes and then five minutes i'll take an i'll take the introduction and then i will bring my co-star up hi everybody 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 Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. The background noise that you can hear is the sound of the generator because there's no light. <laughs> the okay case. I'll bring that up. Don't worry. Hi, thank God. In the next two minutes, I'll just go straight up to it. I'm waiting for other people to join. I can't wait to start living in my own mansion, you know, where I'm doing, where I have all the things that I need. I don't need generator. <laughs> I don't need Nepal light. I have a fully furnished studio. That is never content to flow. I can't wait for the time. I can't wait for that so that all my contents can be popping. All right, next one minutes, I'm going to go straight up into the introduction. And then we can, I can bring up Queen after that. Yeah. uh if you think your friend has needs to be here please send the link share to your friend or send your friend a message on whatsapp to join this live we're going to be talking about dealing with fear as creators <laughs> the 
the song I'm dancing to is in my head. Is in my explain in my head. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so this is seven oh five, and again, thank you for joining everybody. Welcome to Values Based Lifestyle with Content Creators. If you don't already know, my name is Misayo Patrick, and I'm a digital creator and a social media strategist, a Christian girl, and a girl who has whose vision, whose purpose in life is who has how do I, how do I put it? So my purpose, a lot of people's purposes. A lot of people's purpose in life are tied to my purpose, right? So it is important for me to fulfill my purpose so that other people can fulfill their purpose. So in today's dive, we're going to be talking about dealing with fear as creators. Fear is a thing that a lot of us ex experience, a lot of people experience. And in this live, I'll be, we'll be talking about, you know, fear, what fear is, how fear can limit us as creators and the kinds of fear that many creators have. So the person I'm bringing on board to lead this conversation is my friend, Queenette. Queenette is my friend. She is a barrister. She's going to introduce herself, right? But I just want to say that she's a very, very learned <laughs> person and she's a very, very sound, intelligent lady that I really love to hear her speak. So the thing about this is I'm always... It's sort of like an attraction that I have for people who have this level of wisdom that you know that is only inspired by the Holy Spirit. People who are committed to their career, committed to their faith. So anybody you see me bring up on this life is a Christian. Except maybe, you know, the president wants to come on board. The president is not a Christian. And I can't say no to the president, can I? Yeah, so whoever you see me bring on board to this life is a Christian. They have something very, very valuable to share. And there are people that I have a sort of relationship with. The reason why I'm working with people I have relationship with is because I know where they are coming from. I know who they are. And I, I can trust them to not sway away from the purpose of this life. So today we're going to be talking about, or tonight, we're going to be talking about dealing with fear as a creator. And one thing I want to say is that Fear and anxiety is a pretty bad thing, right? And the first thing we need to establish is the fact that fear is not a fruit of the spirit. Fear is not a fruit of the spirit. So that means that if you are constantly struggling with fear, you are dealing with a spirit that is not from God. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has not given us the spirit of fear. He has given us the spirit of sound mind. So if you have fear, you are dealing with an evil spirit, right? So a lot of people, a lot of creators, Christians, entrepreneurs, people in the marketplace, people in the workplace are still battling with a kind of fear that that's, um, is limiting them, stopping them from getting, from doing what God has ordained for them to do. Everybody, so I won't say that myself, I don't, I don't um, have fears. I have fears too. I face fears. In fact, I'm going to be talking about some of the fears that I face as a creator myself. So it's something that would naturally happen but remember that it's that it was not given to us by god so if it's not given to us by god it means that it is not supposed to happen there are so many things that we human beings and christians especially have taken as normal and it is not right that we are doing that it is not right there are so many things that if you are if you study the bible a lot you will realize that there are so many things that we are doing there are so many things that we are expressing so many um mindsets ideologies that we have that we are not supposed to have as christians but that's just one of the ways that the enemy um, will try to limit us from fulfilling our full potential which is whatever god has ordained for us to do in the next one minutes i'm going to be bringing queen up i don't want to talk too much because i have a tendency to talk too much <laughs> so i'm going to bring in her up she's going to formally introduce herself and she's going to just share with us I, um, what she thinks about fear and instances where fear has limited her from fulfilling one or two things that she was supposed to do. Okay, so Queen, I'm going to be bringing you up now. Uh, this is 7.09. I said I'll bring you up by 7.10. Should I wait or should I bring you? <laughs> Let me just bring you up because we have to get out of here.
All right, so Queen, I've sent you to invite. Sorry, I brought in the OK case instead of Queen. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Okeke, okay, can you on, um, leave so that Queen will join the live? Yeah, please leave, leave, just leave so that I, yeah, she has joined. So, Mr. Okeke, okay, okay, you need to leave. You need to leave the live. <laughs> The okay case, you need to leave the live so that Queen will join. Can you hear me at all? Okay, I'm going to invite you again. Thank you. So, Queen, I've sent an invite. Please join quickly. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Let's wait for her. I've sent the invites. So, yes, yeah, so there are so many, I don't want to say kinds of fear because it sounds weird that I'm saying kinds of fear, but there are types, yeah, let's use that, types of fears that we may experience as creators and we need to work on. All right, you can turn the camera to yourself. I think you need to activate the front camera. Yeah, I'm trying. Can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. I don't know. I'm having this. Just. This is. We can see the room that you are. So when you see your face, just activate the front camera. Okay. Let me send you an invite again. So while we wait for her, we can continue to talk. So, yeah, fear can significantly impact creators in so many ways. And don't forget that. Okay. We can't see your face. Yeah. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I think you mistakenly pressed the mute button. Okay, so I was saying that fear can significantly impact creators in so many ways. And because we are creators, we are creatives, it means that our work is mostly inspirational. Okay. Can okay, you thank you. Me now. Yeah, I can hear you now. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good evening. I was having um, a little bit of network issues and all these YouTube adverts stuff. Okay, okay. That so was making my all right, thank you so much. So I would like to contact yourself quickly for everyone to know who you are and what you do okay my name is Queenette okeke barista Queenette okeke i'm a practicing lawyer i also like to call myself a public speaker <laughs> yes i love to talk i i like i literally talk for a living so when i was like ah, we need i was like ah, is it not to talk 
in game. So I love to talk. I love to speak. I love to speak before people. So yes, I'm also a content creator. I write. I'm a writer. Yes, and I'm so many things yet to explore. So many things I don't even know yet. Yes. So <laughs> that's it. All right. Thank you. So let's just go straight to the topic of discussion. Yeah. So we're talking about how creators can deal with fear. Can you share with us what your opinion about fear? What you think fear is, and any instances where fear has hindered you from doing something that you knew you were supposed to do? Okay, like I said, I love to speak. And okay, first, let me address the first issue. What do I think fear is? So many people would like to say that fear is an emotion. And I agree because when you come in face of harm, you hear that they are robbing somewhere, you hear that somebody wants to beat you or something, you have the emotion of fear. You'll be like, What's going on here? So that fear can come in form of emotion. But there's another thing that I strongly hold on to. There is something called the spirit of fear. I heard you quote a scripture in um, 2 Timothy 1.7. Yeah. It was God that said it. was like, I've not given you the spirit of fear. So I believe. So anyone who argues that fear is a spirit, I'm like, you don't even know what you're talking about. I'll give you an instance. You ask for if there's an instance that fear has held me back. Like I said, I love to speak. Right from when I was little, I've always, always been a talker i speak before anybody like there is nobody that i can't speak before there is nobody i can't ask a question and my friends used to use me to joke like if there's someone they want to confront they're like ah if queen was here they just see me as that kind of person i've always been bold i've always been able to speak before anybody my primary school and secondary school days i represented my school in so many debates I won from my school, then I started going for international debates in my school. I was even the queen of my school. Like my picture was everywhere. We go to the headmaster and principal office. I'm everywhere with different awards. I've always been doing debates, be talking and very popular. Getting to SS2, I was made the social prefect. So you can imagine. Okay. I was still representing the school in talking, in dancing and everything. But something happened. I got to university. And this thing called the spirit of play. How it entered me, I do not know. When I got to university, the five years stay of my university, I can count how many times I spoke in my class. I can count. I feel that so many people in my class still now do not even know me. Because I got into the university and I became a shadow of myself. I was not able to, to the extent that a lecture, lecture is popular with everyone. Someone will ask questions in class and you know the answer but you can't speak. Yeah. It is not natural for me because me, even if I don't know what I'm saying, I will talk because I'm a talker like that. But for me to know something and not talk in class, it was a problem. I became a shadow of myself. I became intimidated. I became, I, can, I could not explain where the fear came from. So my five years in the university, people, we even had this competition between law students from different universities. I was always running away. Wow. I would not even stay for the Riaza, which was very odd. I can't even trace it. So my five years in university, I was literally not known. And it's strange because any me, I'm the kind of person that any place I enter, I have this ability to, because I'm always talking, people usually know me. But some of my classmates I stayed with in five years, they do not really know what I can do or know that I can speak this much because I was held down by the spirit of fear for that five years in university. And I could not really do so many things during my school days wow. because of that fear. So yes, that's one of the few things that fear wow. can do. So that's what you do. Okay, so you're a content creator. And when you started to publish your, con your content, you remember when I used to tell you that I think you should be sharing thought leadership content um, videos right and then you started sharing you started doing this you know the videos that you do now yeah. and i was i was impressed because i felt that if it's me if that me i can never post that kind of video yeah. remember those your yeah. videos i used to do before yeah. you got married i said yeah. that i can never do that kind of video i i'm confident but not that confident you understand? so how did you feel starting 
um deciding to start posting content like that were you held back by fear and so if you're held back by fear what kind of fear did you think cost it because it could be that maybe somebody or some people started to you know talk negatively about the kind of content that you shared so is it that kind of fear whatever fear it is how did you manage it so it's all of them combined <laughs> number one I'm a professional person. I have a professional degree. I'm a lawyer. I'm not be doing that kind of thing. I can't be misbehaving on social media. I can't be doing that kind of thing. But I realized that God created me and put so many things in me. Yes. I have the ability to make people laugh. I have the ability to be professional. If I handle your work professionally, you know that, yes, I'm good at what I do. But if I try to be funny and I act, you will still laugh. So since I know that I've put I deposited so many things in me, so why should I hide it? I felt so many fear because number one, how people feel, and that was after my call to bar. Um, is it that there's no work or what? Is it boredom? <laughs> <laughs> is it boredom? You know how people can you will not yes. understand the kind of advice I got. Like people thought, is it boredom? Is it that there is no work? You will not be dancing, misbehaving on social media. To me, it was fun. I didn't see that it was something yeah, I was going to do consistently. I just did law school now. There's nothing I'm doing at home. You know, I just did it. And I saw people, a lot of people were laughing. Wow, this is funny. But some yeah. people were like, what is this? Lawyer, barista, those kind of things. And they want to make you, especially with the kind of parents that I have, evil parents, to have a first daughter that is a lawyer. To not be seeing you dancing online <laughs> or doing something online. So the combination of what my parents will think or say, because I was before you, you said, like you said, I wasn't married then. So they used to see me when I used to shoot those things. So the combination of that one plus what my colleagues and friends will say, you understand? Some people think that you are using it to come out of depression, maybe you're handling a breakup wow. or something. So I didn't want to, but I just continued because to me, I knew it was fun. Then I found it as something that I was really good at and people were really pleased. We were making people laugh and I got satisfaction from it. Yeah, you did. I know. And I also got satisfaction from watching it. And I remember that somebody in the church drama department was saying that they want you to join the department because yes. how can you be acting like that and you're not acting yes. in the I want <laughs> so it just, it to just do pop piercing. Like, so you can act. <laughs> and the thing is, me, I didn't know. That's why I said that God has put so many things in us that fear will not allow us to explore. Exactly. Fear of what people will exactly. say. And what you don't know is that the people that you're concerned about, that it's making you not to explore, when you conquer that fear and you do it, those people are the ones that will come and ask, where have you been? Have you seen all those comments? <laughs> where have you been all this while? This is what we have been looking for. And I'm like, oh, really? I'm not going to be one telling them, no, 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 on Saturdays, I, I, I can't, I, I, for now, Saturdays is occupied, I can't come. You can imagine. I've never been an actor before. I've never joined any drama group before. Yeah. I've never done any play before. But through these kids I've been doing, people are like, you're a good actor. Why don't you join the drama team? So, that's it. Okay, okay. So, I wanted to just... I know I said I was going to be asking you many yeah. questions. I didn't want to box you into the questions that I was asking because I know you have a lot of intelligent things to share. So, what I want to say is, how did you... Is it how did you... Or how are you... <laughs> uh, I'm, trying to, I'm looking at how I can frame the question. Uh, okay. Let me not overthink. So, I want you to explain to us or share with us how somebody who wants to go into creation, to content creation, can deal with specific um, types of fear, like fear of vulnerability. You know when you, you know now you and your husband share content online, and again, I'm, I'm always impressed by the content, right? But I was not thinking that okay, when I get married, will I also be doing it? I think I think I like to, I want to do this too when I get married, bro. It depends. So will the my husband allow for that? <laughs> As I'm talking about funny. <laughs> so how can somebody who wants to start doing that how can they deal with um fear of vulnerability, fear of criticism, and um fear of um fear of rejection? So if you post it online and there is negative feedback, 
I think that's what I mean to say. Fear of negative feedback. Yeah. How can you how can you explain to people? How can you encourage anybody that wants to go into content creation and they're worried about things like that? What can you say to them? Okay. There's something you said when you were trying to ask the question. You said don't over don't overthink it. That's going to be one of my answers. Don't just overthink it. The more you overthink it, you are giving yourself so many reasons why you should not do it. You understand? And sometimes I usually believe, I believe that there's nothing I can't do. If something comes to my mind, for example, why did that thing come to my mind in the first place? There are some things that can never cross my mind. Even if you are making a million dollars from it, it can never cross my mind to do it because it doesn't just relate with me. Do you understand? There are some people that they yeah. say they do this, they are into this, they are into that, they are making billions. I can never want to learn it. It doesn't just resonate with me. Do you understand? But there are some other things that people do that, ah, I wish I can do this. I wish it was me. I wish I can learn it. Do you understand? Or use it as a side hustle or a side skill. So why is this crossing your mind? So if it is coming to your mind, it means that it's something you can do. And I want us to know that being a creative is something that you can develop. It's something you can develop. So do not overthink it. Take it. You want to explore yourself. So, like I said something, when I told you, I told you I started doing it because of fun. So if people ask you, if you know you have fear of rejection, or fear of what people will say, when they do it, I say, no, I'm just lesbian, I'm just doing it out of fun. You don't need much explanation. Do it. Just do it out of fun. Watch people's response. Number one, you're doing it for yourself because you want to explore. Yeah. You want to explore yourself. You want to see what yeah. you can do. And it's better you explore and you say that it's failed than you didn't do it at all. Okay? So you just do it. Put it out there. You see some pleasant and unpleasant reactions. But how do you feel after you do it? How do you feel after you do it? You feel like it's something that you should have been doing for a long time. Like, this is how I feel. When I put out video and people are coming, I'm like, I should have started this thing for a long yeah, time. You understand? It's something you should have been doing for a while. So take it as, especially if you are young, you are still from, at least from, below your 40, even in your 30s, use that time to explore as much as you can. You think you can do this, try it. You can try it in small scale. You think you can do this, try it. Try it, try it, try it. Okay, you, you are a content person and you have fear of rejection. Okay, you might not want to start on your own. You can join the creative department in your church or join a crew so that you will not be the person that the attention will be on. See how it goes. Do you understand? Do it on a small scale. You are getting more comfortable being on the camera. And there's something I want to say about creative or being a creative. I would like to define being a creative as someone that helps to bet ideas. You can bet ideas and you can help to bring them to life. So being a creative does not necessarily mean that you may always have to put your face out there. There yeah, are some creatives that... True faces are not out there so if you know that you are not comfortable with your face out there it doesn't mean you're not a creative i would like to use the movie industry for, for an example we have the script writers people that write the scripts yeah the person that's putting the idea that agenda creative ability into a script the director brings in his own creative ability to make sure that the script comes to life the actors, they act it. The editors, we edit. The videographers, we do. So every you see the different creative spheres bringing it to life. They are all creative, but not everyone is on the screen. So identify where you think you'll be comfortable with. Then stretch yourself. You can start being in the background, but stretch yourself. Me, I know I'm comfortable with screen. I know I'm comfortable. With, I don't have a problem with. You understand? So I will go straight for what I want. But you, you're not comfortable with screen, but you know how to write good scripts. You understand? Or, or you are comfortable when somebody is there with you. You can get a partner. We have people that dance online with their yeah. partner. Uh, you know, because we just, and I, I'm now I'm asking for forgiveness because when I started watching it, I'm like, what are they doing? Is it work? It is full-time job. Because the the energy the amount of time it takes to do edit those videos how many times they will dance and dance it you understand and when they start making returns people are like i can't just be dancing and making money no money. it's creative ability coming into play 
people that be, that edit those videos you don't know them you understand people that are behind the camera you don't know them but they are all creatives some people might even be the one giving them the idea do you understand many people give them the idea they do it a lot in movie industry and in yeah. the music industry you understand so identify yourself okay this is what i want to do is my face going to be out there even though your face is going to be out there take it start it on don't be we have the fear of failure fear of the unknown not if it doesn't work what will yeah. people say that's the thing but my question my own question is what if it work what will people say do you understand what if it work what will people say and people are like i usually say the same people that are like what is this they wouldn't want to come and like say where have you been so the earlier i wish i learned how to shun people earlier in my life i wish i would have gone a lot far yeah. than this you understand so i just advise you just do it they will get comfortable do it first time do the first video do the second video people will get comfortable and they'll start asking you for more like they're doing for me right now <laughs> I, I like the fact that when you talked about identifying places that the spots that you feel comfortable mm -hmm. is it in front of the camera is it behind the camera so me for me I, I i like both i like to be in front of camera because i love to speak a lot i like to speak i like to teach so if that's to get me in front of the camera i'll be there i also like behind the scenes work so i want to be the one that will edit the videos i want to be the one that will write the newsletters i want to be the one that will write the blog so I find myself i find that i'm comfortable uh, in both aspects so front of the camera behind the scenes whichever one works for me so and i realized that they are both on a on an equal level so i want to be for the camera i also want to be behind the camera so the one where whichever one present whichever opportunity i'm presented with at that time i take it so thank you so much that's very that's very enlightening there's something else i want to talk about but time i don't want us to spend too much here okay. but um so in one minute can you quickly tell us how we can deal with because you know there's something called creative block right and okay, yeah. it's caused by fear it's caused, it is caused by fear so when you have creative block you are limited you have ideas paralysis so what are those things that you think we can do to stimulate um more ideas coming for us so that we don't get paralyzed by creative block so just take that in a minute Okay, number one, I would like to do not put yourself under so much pressure. It happens to everybody. Yeah. Even people up there, it happens to them. When you start content creating, for an example, in a day you can have up to 50 ideas. You don't even have time to even shoot everything. As time goes on, you, you find out that you are lacking ideas. So number one, don't put yourself under pressure. And also, the things you were doing before, before you started content creating, creating you were used to watching other people you were used to you know appraising their work you were used to you the time and effort you put in your research the kind time and effort you put in building your inner self you know it was there now that you have said you are more about people people oh i have to post today i have to post today today is going and i have to put up something and you now notice that you are you are more concerned about pleasing your audience you so you have to keep building yourself you have to keep learning from people watching people some people recreate ideas ideas content that they have shot before they will do it in a different way with a different sound in a different place so there are sometimes you may have a, a a um idea block or creative block and there's nothing to do at that moment some people will say they will go and lodge in hotel they you know, sometimes you don't have the ability for that one. They will go on a vacation, they will do some things, they read some book. But there are some things you have done before that you can recreate. It's still the ability to recreate something is still an art of creativity. You understand? Something that you have done before. How can you do it? Okay, you shot it in a civilized way before. How can you do it in a local way? Do you understand? How can you, you know, just rebrand yourself? And I want to say this that you are your you are your greatest work you are your greatest investment so as far as you keep growing and building yourself from reading a book from watching a tv you get to the stage where everything becomes a content for you so that's yeah. where you grow to the best thing that everything becomes a content i might be chatting with you and you said something and yes idea. Uh, I, I, feel <laughs> I get that yes. thank you thank so, you so much i want us to wrap up here okay and so if you are watching 
I would like you to go and watch this part again. Queen has said a lot of things, um, especially in the process of um, in, in the bit about finding which spot works for you, the bit about trying to get yourself out of creative block. So if you are on the call, you have to go and watch it again. I'm going to put it, leave it here on Instagram. I'll also put it on my YouTube channel. You can watch it again. So Queen, just tell us where we can find you online, your social media handles. Yes, I'm on Instagram at Queen at C O K K. I also co content I be co create okay. content with my husband at, <laughs> at the OK. Sense yes, of value. on Instagram, on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, sense of value. So we create um content based on marriage and relationships. You can also catch me on TikTok, you know, at Queen at C O K K and also on TikTok at DOKKs. Right. Yes. And you can catch me on YouTube at Personal Financial Development Coach. Okay. I love this. Thank you. You said you're very talking about that one. Much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, please so the barista. And if you have any legal matters you want, you want to yes. do, just reach out to her on social media. She's your girl for that. Thank yes, you so I much. Have... For that. Queen on that post, C underscore OKK. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. All right. So thank you. So, now we be here. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I hope you invite me again. <laughs> I definitely will. I definitely will. Right. Have some other topics we are going to talk about. This is just one of them. All right. All thank right. you. Bye bye. So that's the end of the live, and um, I want to catch you in the next one. I don't know what the next one will be about. Is like I said, this live is inspired. So we wait for the next. For the inspiration for the next one you can watch it on my youtube channel i'll put it on my youtube channel i also leave it here on so you can catch it on my reels you can catch the replay on my reels if you are not following me i don't know why you're not following me right but if you are not following me follow me right now on instagram subscribe to my youtube channel outside of patrick one i also have a um podcast where i bring nigerian creators so it's called um realities of a nigerian creative so we talk about the challenges we are facing as creators in Nigeria and how we deal with it. I'll catch you in the next live. Bye.